Hi there, this is Hans Forschner. I just to do a quick uh, demonstration of the DXF import. So I'll go open uh, the geodatabase and uh, I'll select the new uh, situation 0.22 DXF import 2. I load with the new geo file. Now we go to fundamentals. Right here, we have the different import functions, DXF, uh, all the other TNM and all that, S3 shapefile. So I'll select DXF. I select the file. And here we get a preview. So here we see all the different layers. Um, based on the coordinates here, this is a uh, feet. Uh, yeah, all the units are in feet. So here on the objects, uh, make sure that under transformation, you have a transformation matrix set up. So here we have DXF XY and XY that is imported. So 100 feet is 30.48 meters. So with these two vectors, you can uh, define a transformation matrix. So I'll go back to import. The first uh, import that I'll do is I'll select all the information here and put that in the background. I'll uh, define it in a layer. We'll just call it 0, 022 background uh, DXF data. And we do the import. All right, so here, Make sure to double check the, the dimensions. So here, this should be around 12 meters. So let me uh, use a, a ribbon. So this is the tools, the measuring tape. And so we, from here to over here, it's about 12 meters, 1150, that's good. So this uh, is about the right dimension. And so I'll save this and now uh, just to show you kind of how you can import specific layers. Uh, so here in this DXF file, there's one layer that's called noise walls. So I'll import that separately and I'll import it into a, a new layer and then call it 22 noise existing noise walls. Right. So here again, create a new geo file and will select that and then it does this import specifically for that layer that is highlighted and it imports it. So here we can see now uh, we have two layers, background and existing walls. With the view control, we can take a look at current view. So here are all the walls. We can select them all, control A, and convert them to object type noise walls all right okay so these are normal noise walls I probably there's lots of coordinates uh, probably a overkill you can do some filtering with that but I will not go into that and then here of course you have all the background and then we can overlay that so here you can see the the walls right next to it now I'll save the whole thing and then just to show that this is the same coordinate system of the data that we imported earlier. So I'll highlight all of this information and it just uh, goes right on top of it. Um, yeah, there's some, I think that's uh, yeah this, this data here. Uh, yeah, so there's some data that is probably not correct. Let's just see here. Yeah, that's this one. All right, so this is my initial import, so I'll remove that. All right, and now show all. So yeah, now it shows it the correct, the corrected import. All right, um, I believe all the DXF import that we had had no elevation. Um, that is something that we can check very quickly. Uh, so yeah, there is no elevation. Uh, we can select all of that and drop it on the ground. Uh, that's sometimes helpful. Um, 
but yeah that kind of uh, uh, ends my video here in terms of how to import a DXF file thank you